Uh, under communism, would there be currency? Yeah. There'd be currency, so there'd be, still, like, we'd still have US dollars. So what I'm, I'm trying to say, right, is that I don't fully believe in communism as how communism is. That's just the closest thing to what I believe in. And that's why I was trying to like address some of the things that I do believe in. Like I think there should be like a baseline of like livable well, wages and, and things like that. Wait, but so it's okay. more so things that I would like to have at, for the community as a whole. Dr. Okay, Vinabli <laughs> donated $100. Cuba is 90 miles from Key West. You can swim there. Mm. Once there, You're the in Miami, red lines right? will help you yeah. get even skinnier. Good luck finding a good hookup for your of genius. <laughs> Would you consider, how's your swimming? Decent, I guess. Wait, if you were to swim from Miami to uh, to Cuba, would it be a breaststroke? Would it be butterfly? Like What's backstroke. your preferred backstroke? That would be yeah. a good way to get there. Um, th thank you, uh, Doc Vanablis. Good to see you in the chat. Well, okay, so so under communism, let's mm -hmm. say there's somebody who's a doctor and mm -hmm. then somebody who's a secretary. Mm -hmm. um, how are they, like, are they both compensated equally, like the same amount? Yeah. So the secretary who need not spend hundreds, thousands of hours attaining secondary, uh, like other forms of education, she's compensated just as well as the doctor. So what's the incentive for somebody in a communist society where everything is supposedly provided for them to, to like s put in all this extra effort like also what about who who wants to be a janitor or who wants a dirty or dangerous job under communism wouldn't everybody just want to so do there the are most some places that aren't communist but they do like have certain th like other developed countries like the netherlands right where they have a pretty high quality the, you think that the, the netherlands no, no, it's is not a, i've been communist but i've been there three times I'm, it's I'm not getting a, there i'm getting to the point that i'm okay. making i'm not saying it's a communist mm -hmm. but whatever you but they have um like livable wages and higher taxes, right? And one of the things you look at is when everyone has enough to live, the incentive to make more money or a lot of Europe like doesn't have a lot of millionaires because there's not that drive to have this excess of wealth when you can survive. That it's just not natural. You know what uh, I mean? Like, can I ask something? The Netherlands. Um, getting rid of like the labels capitalism socialism communism can you give us like an idea of what the ideal society system would be like you don't have to stick to any like any names just like if i were in charge if i could set up a country to run a certain way how would you want it to run like specifically <laughs> okay like is there like one avenue like economics yeah or, economically like, okay um yeah, I feel like that's a little bit better, too, because I feel like it can be really tricky because, like I said, I'm not really trying to stick to a label, but that would be the closest thing. Um, I think equal pay for everyone would be, like, a good start. There would still be an incentive. People still want to be doctors without pay. I Do mean, Cuba actually has the highest... What was it? Hunter donated $100. Daphne drinking the water that turns the frogs gay. It does turn the frogs gay. Um, so Can you said you that... I want, to, I want to hear her answer. Yeah, yeah. She, so she just <laughs> said that there would be incentives. And I'm saying yeah, that... Do Cuba, you think that there would be incentives? Like, do you think that we would get the best quality, though? Um, I mean, yeah, that's why I believe in it. But also, like you said, what would be the incentive to become, like, a doctor or something yep. like that when Cuba has the most doctors per capita? You know what I mean? Like people still want to be doctors. People naturally want to help each other. Do you think they're good? They're the best doctors. <laughs> well, I don't know. I can't. What's the life expectancy that? in Cuba? Probably low, lower than here, but you can't really trust the government's numbers, though. That's fair. Yeah. This okay. is the problem in Cuba. I've, I've got a my barber back in Brisbane is Cuba Cuban. Shout outs mm -hmm. to Yaz. Um, and his mum is a doctor, mm -hmm. and he says that she gets she basically makes the same as somebody who flips burgers in the United States. Mm. She just makes absolutely no money, and she's a doctor. Mount underscore whatever donated $100. Communism has failed and will fail at every nation that has tried. RFK Junior 2024. Yep. Um, yeah, so I mean, just, it's just human nature though. That if the, the reason why people strive to be the best and succeed is because they get, they get paid more and they get more prestige. But in those countries, there is no prestige with those jobs. They're slaves. 
Any any other economic policies? Because you mentioned Netherlands and yeah, yeah, so they have they have high taxes. Oh, hold on. Alfie donated one hundred dollars. My philosophy, best summed up by the only advice my father ever gave me. He said, "Son, whenever you meet a beautiful woman, just remember somewhere there's a bloke who's sick of shagging her." Thank you, Alfie. Um, that is a bit more dating related. I appreciate it. Thanks, Alfie. Um, I think you were asking, can I ask her a follow-up question? Yeah, so you mentioned the Netherlands and what is it particularly the social safety nets? Like, because when you, when you talk about Scandinavian countries, I think that a lot of people refer to their social safety nets and these things that they've got going on. Mm -hmm. Is that what, what you like about those countries that they've got yeah. robust social safety nets? Yeah, and they, they also like have the highest quality of life. Like people are happiest there than anywhere else which i think says something you know what i mean because people complain in the states about high taxes but it's what we're doing with that tax money when we're asking for more when well, the government's yeah. asking for more well they have some pretty high sui rates in in those nordic countries but with the social safety nets though do you understand that those kind of, it's like comparing apples and oranges when you compare america to, to the scandinavian countries because for a number of reasons. First of all, they're, they're very, very resource rich. Like a country like Norway has yeah. more money than it knows what to do with it. So like these countries are very, like, they, they just throw money into, into these social programs. And what's the like population? Like 10, it's, yeah. no, it's like 4 million in yeah. Norway or something. And also they're very, very culturally homogenous as well. I they're very strict 10. with the immigration. You don't have that in, Amer in America. You guys pay a price for how oh, five, lenient five, you are with your five. borders and everything so it's comparing apples and oranges but they do have I, I have spent time in some of those countries especially Holland and they do have social safety nets but they're pretty different to those countries to here I have a question mm -hmm. so do you think that your life would be better like how would it personally affect you if the United States was more socialist I think that's or worse interesting. Um, I don't know I think it would have affected me probably a couple like two years ago more so than now doc venabili is donated oh. 100 dollars. <laughs> doctors are used as slave labor in cuba the doctors are sent to work in mexico and venezuela and those countries pay cuba doctors earn 30 us dollars a month yeah. within cuba cab drivers earn much more mm -hmm. Doc Venables, thank you very much that's a good point like what under a communist society like what is the incentive to work hard if the person who doesn't even work gets the same exact benefits and privileges as you. It becomes like more personal and less on sur survival. So one of the things why money is an incentive is because money raises your quality of life here. Like people still have an incentive to be doctors there because naturally there are some people who want to help people like in other ways than just how much this is going to pay me or how little this is oh, going to pay me. You mentioned that you, did you just I say mean, that it would have benefited you a little while ago but not anymore is that because you make more money now because you're doing what yeah you're doing? so i'm like i benefit from capitalism now like but if you weren't benefiting from it then you'd want to live in a socialist community no i i would country. want to either way but i am saying that i like do benefit from capitalism so you're benefiting from capitalism now means you see capitalism in a good light because you're benefiting from it right but if you weren't i i still see the flaws in it but i do benefit from it 